Please put your hands together for Zah Norabas. اعوذ بالله من الشیطان الرجیم بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم That's a Muslim check. Where are my Muslims at? Yeah, Muslim pride makes them more noise. All right. I'm learning about hell. And I'm definitely going to go there. It's the end of summer in 1991. I just turned 11 and we're in Danville, California. <laughs> I'm at this Muslim Iranian summer school where everybody's like me. Nobody is cool. Everyone here wears black. I love black. And all the girls cover their hair in this headscarf called hijab. So I never have to do my hair. Mrs. Bahari says that under the eyes of the Ayatollah Khomeini, everyone is cool. He seems like a really nice guy. She says that for my whole life, there's an angel on my shoulder, tallying up my good and bad deeds. What a jerk. It's really embarrassing to have to ask this, but I have to ask. Mrs. Bahari, um, say that when a Muslim kid goes to sleepovers with her American friends, she maybe eats pepperoni pizza. <laughs> Zahra, are you doing that? Ew, no, never. But say that I did do that. And then I lied to my teacher when she asked me if I did. <laughs> Is that another negative point? Every negative point is one day in hell. A day in hell for every lie? But Zahra, you have the power to change your future. You can wipe away your bad deeds with good deeds. Heaven points. What gets you the most heaven points? If you were to die in the Revolutionary War fighting for Iran, you would go to heaven for sure. What's a second way? <laughs> that afternoon, I know what to do. I go to my friend Christine's house, knock, knock, knock. Hey, Christine, um, so have you ever converted to Islam before? What's Islam? It's my religion, but I'm Christian. Islam is pretty much the same as Christianity. But instead of Jesus, there's also Muhammad. And, and Muhammad came after Jesus, and, and he saved a bunch of people from these really bad guys. Plus, if you convert to Islam, we both get heaven points. Heaven points? How many? <laughs> One million! Christine goes and gets her sister, and we all go over to my grandma's house. She converts them, we do namaz, they say the shahada, I convert them. One million heaven points! One million heaven points! We get Casey, we convert her! Another million heaven points! It's really easy. You can help me out. All you have to do is say, La ilaha illa la. 3,000 million heaven points! <laughs> Creeping Sharia in the house! <laughs> Take that, Donald Trump! <laughs> the next weekend is our final exams at Farsi school, but I didn't care. I have millions of heaven points. <laughs> I did not study. Besides, Dad said that if I just write on the test, and then the Shah was a tyrant for every answer, I'll get like most of them right. 
Mrs. Bahari hands me my test. I look down, and I realize, oh shit, it's in Farsi. <laughs> Cursive Farsi. All the other kids are scribbling away. I'm so screwed. But it's okay, because everybody knows that if you look at Mrs. Bahari with really big eyes, she feels bad for you and she gives you the answer. She comes over to me right away. Zahrajan, is everything okay? Oh, Mrs. Bahari, um, I, I just don't understand these questions. Zahra, Mizuni ke ne Oh, no, 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 I don't want the answer. I just don't understand the question. She leans in so the other kids can't hear and translates. It says, if a mother wears hijab but her daughter does not, will the mother burn in hell for her? <laughs> no. Because in Islam, everybody is responsible for their own sins. No, that's not right. <laughs> what? I know. Wait, but I have a million heaven points. I, I converted my friend. Oh, good. But what about my mom? She will burn in hell. <laughs> my mom wears hijab every day, and she never said that I had to. I mean, I guess I never asked her. I, I wear hijab when I'm here, just not at my American school. I will someday, just not in junior high. Listen, I was going to explain all of this to God when I got there. <laughs> but you're telling me that they're going to set her on fire before I even get there? Yes. This is it, this is it, this is it. And then Mrs. Bahai says, but Zahra, you have the power to change your future. In Islam, once you know of a sin, you can change your future that moment. That afternoon, when dad picks me up, it's pouring rain and I'm a drenched mess. I can't believe that all this time that I was just playing with my friends, I was actually sending my mom to hell. From now on, this is it. If I wear a hijab from now on, I'll be good. For real this time. Dad notices I'm pretty out of it. Hey, Zara, are you okay? Did you do okay on your test? What? Yeah, sure, Dad. Okay. You did okay. 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 Okay, Zahra. Okay is okay for dad. Good job, Zahra. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Come on, man. You're done with the Farsi school. Let's celebrate. You're going to be in junior high tomorrow. Let's go to Blockbuster and get a movie. We celebrate. This is it. This is it. This is it. We pull into the Blockbuster. We get out of the car. And I fix my hijab, and I tighten my hijab and tuck in my bangs, and I take a deep breath. Dad laughs. <laughs> hey, Zara, you're still wearing your thing, man. <laughs> you're not in Farsi school anymore. <laughs> well, Dad, I'm going to wear it. What, are you cold or something, man? <laughs> No, because Mrs. Bahari said that if I don't wear hijab, then mom's going to burn in hell. And whoa, 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 whoa. Nobody is burning at the hell. You know, Zahra, your mom and I talked about this a long time ago, and we don't want this for you. Wearing hijab is it's very difficult. Difficult? Difficult? I'm going to let mom burn in hell because it's difficult? And so I wore hijab to Blockbuster that day. <laughs> the proudest hijab-wearing 11-year-old to ever wear a hijab at a Blockbuster. Everybody kept looking at me and looking away. And looking at me 
and looking away, and looking at me, and looking away. I got so uncomfortable that I just started to speak in English really loudly. Hey, Dad! <laughs> Isn't it funny how we're all U.S. citizens in here? <laughs> yep, all of us. Hey, Dad, how about this monster truck rally video? It'll go perfect with a bag of Frito Lay. They are not at all disgusting. And of course, we'll be making these purchases with our American Express card that we were able to obtain as tax-paying citizens of this fine nation. And my dad was like, Hey, Zara, why are you talking so loud? <laughs> oh, Dad! Zara, you know, your mom only likes action movies. Who is this man? What is that? What is going on? Bokosh, 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 boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I like a romance. It's nice, it's relaxed. In this one, the dances with the wolves. There's a romance. And then they kill somebody and your mom be happy. <laughs> oh, Dad, what a Kevin Costner classic. All it took was eight minutes at Blockbuster, and I was having second thoughts. I call up my friend Christine. Hey, Christine. Um, so on the first day of school tomorrow, I'm going to look a little different. Well, it might be a little weird. It's, it's this thing I have to wear for, for my religion. Look, you don't have to hang out with me any more than usual, but will you still hang out with me? Uh, ho hold on, Christine. My mom comes bursting through the door with bags and bags of Mervyn's back-to-school shopping. <laughs> Zahra! Hey, Zahra! Listen, Christine, I gotta go. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Zahra, look! I got some nice clothes for you in nice bright colors. You've been wearing black all summer. Look, I reach into the bag and pull out a hot pink turtleneck. And then I look up and my mom is holding a huge shiny pair of banana yellow parachute pants. <laughs> you got me MC Hammer pants? <laughs> Where did you even find those? Clarence! Can you believe that? Um, thanks, Mom. Uh, this is really pretty, but uh, I'm already doing something different on the first day of school tomorrow. Oh, Zahra, your dad told me about that. I don't want you to do that. Um, do you know where you're going? <laughs> Zahra, we don't believe that. I mean, Zahra, I wear hijab because I like it because it's my tradition. I'm comfortable wearing it. I've been wearing it since I was nine years old. I feel naked without it. It is my tradition. It does not have to be your tradition. But Mrs. Bahari said, that's Mrs. Bahari's Islam. She interprets the Quran one way, we see it another. You can do that? <laughs> Zahra, religion, is like a fart. <laughs> Everybody thinks theirs does not a smell. <laughs> but it does. <laughs> so the next day, at school, I get out of the car, and Christine locks eyes on my yellow MC Hammer pants. And I see her eyes go up, down, up, down, pink, poof, oh, uh, oh. Uh. Oh my God, Zara, what are you doing? You look like a Skittle. Wait, is this the outfit you were talking about? Is 
this, is this for your religion? Yes. Yes, this is for my religion. Snappers, if this type of storytelling is important to you, if it matters to your life, if you feel what we feel, support Snap Judgment. In return, we've got special gifts waiting to help you tell your story. Donate now at snapjudgment.org.